Greetings, peace be with you. So in this video, I'm going to share with you the most powerful prayer that I have discovered at this point in my journey on how to reprogram your subconscious mind. And this is unlike any other technique, tip, trick. There's one thing that's changed my life more than anything else in this world. It is this one perspective and it is captured by the prayer that i discovered from napoleon hill okay and if you have not read napoleon hill's books i definitely recommend you check out outwitting the devil all right listen to the audio on that it's free on youtube listen to that that's something i've read like more than i think like 15 times okay on audio it's just that powerful it's that deep every time every time i gain something different from it but the prayer i'm about to share with you okay it's a complete shift on how we have been programmed to think of prayer okay at least i'm speaking from my personal experience okay maybe you did not go through that experience so my experience was supplication that of begging some outside force for some result that i want at least that's my perspective of it that's how i went about it but what napoleon hill is offering to us is to flip that on his head and to realize that you already are in experience of all that you may desire okay so the prayer goes like this oh divine providence i ask not for more riches but for more wisdom to accept and make proper use of the riches i received from you at birth in the form of the power to direct and control my own mind to any ends i might desire okay napoleon hill recommends that you say that every single morning every single night followed by the process of experiencing the emotions associated with all that you intend to create in your life okay if you just do this every single morning every single night your life will change okay gratitude is not just an emotion it is a higher organ of perception that allows us to experience the source really allow that to sink in because when you experience the source there is no need for explanation there's no need to argue over words Right, We've concerned ourselves so much with the word of God. People arguing, no, this word is right, that word is right, or my interpretation of this word is right, and your interpretation, it goes deep. right? So understanding that it's more about the experience that we have once we realize all that we have been blessed with in our lives. Okay, If you just make the shift and begin to cultivate this magical energy of gratitude, every area of your life will change. Okay, This is not something that I'm saying. Yes, it's something I'm saying, but it's also something that has been scientifically proven. Okay, they did studies on this. You can look it up. Maybe I can link it below. But just the act of writing down what you're grateful for one day of the week boost in happiness by like, I think it was like 28%. And they measured that by the amount of serotonin going on, right? The hormone of bliss. And not only that, but people that practice gratitude, exercised more, they slept they slept deeper and higher quality sleep, right? With more hours. So if you just develop this habit of every single morning, cultivating that emotion of gratitude, not only for all the blessings that you have, but all the blessings you will receive once you begin exerting control over your mind, your subconscious mind. You want to make impressions on your subconscious mind through repetition. The subconscious mind feeds off of repetition. And the more that you can experience the emotions associated with all that you have received, right? The more grateful you are, right? The more you will receive to be grateful for. On the flip side, if you are not grateful for what you have, you will never be grateful for more, right? The kingdom of heaven is now. It's time to wake up to your power, to control your perception, to control your mental attitude, and to control the lifeline that you are on, right? The whole dilemma is that we think we are not powerful, but if you truly knew that, Right. If you truly knew how powerful each and every single word that comes out of your mouth is, you never even begin to consider thinking about that because you are so powerful. If you truly begin to tap into this higher source of gratitude, okay, cultivate this emotion in your life. Look at the blessings and you will receive more blessings. And the more that you give, the more you receive, the more you receive, the more that you give. Okay. Memorize this prayer. All right. Memorize this prayer. Say it every single morning, every single night. Focus your attention on your definite purpose. Okay. That's another principle of Napoleon Hill, right? Definiteness of purpose, S singular attention, tunnel focus, right? Controlled attention. It's so easy to get distracted, but the attention is you. Right? If you don't own your attention, you don't own your mind, 
right? Be very careful, aware on where you shine the light of your attention. Okay, wherever you feed that attention, that is what will grow in your life. That is when you, when you feed your attention to gratitude and cultivate this in your life daily, every other area will shift and make sure to have that clarity in terms of what you intend to create and just experience the emotion now because you are going to be in charge of where your life heads down depending on your experience and your perceptions form from that experience, right? But you choose your experience. When you realize that, then everything will change, okay? So I hope that you uh, practice this prayer, memorize it, all right? That's what I did. And just practice this. It's going to change everything for you, okay? Much love to you. Have an amazing day. And I will leave you in the peace and power of the one infinite creator. Much love to you. Take care.